We have a sad announcement for us here at Fox 26 and others around the valley. Pappas Telecasting founder Harry Pappas has died. At the age of 78. He started KMPH Fox 26 53 years ago. This was the last picture we took with him in May 2019. But he started this TV station in 1971 with his brothers, which is why our TV station is KMPH, named after Mike, Pete, and Harry Pappas. And <clears throat> he was born to a farming family in Modesto back in 1946. His parents immigrated from Crete before that. Now, he is the one who brought me and Kim together to create his vision of a morning show that he called Great Day. We yeah. were talking about how yeah. this man, the owner of a TV station and the general manager yeah. for some time, was very hands-on. Every day he was here and <laughs> to making sure it went the way he wanted it. And uh, we're very thankful for, I'm very thankful for hiring me. Uh, there was just someone in the community went up to him and said, hey, there's this kid that just graduated from college. Why don't you hire me? He has his degree in broadcasting. So he called me in, had an interview, and I started working on one of the first w employees here at Fox 26 back in 1971. Mm. And that was even before he had created the 10 o'clock news. Correct, correct. Yeah. And then uh, I, I was here for about six years. Elaine and I went to Hollywood. Um, I acted for 10 years, and we came back. And then when we came back, a few years later, guess what? Yeah, wanted to start the morning show. Yep. And uh, he was watching me in the Bay Area. Yep. and. Thankfully, I had a really good interview. I hear it was, I, I was doing an interview on an author and he was watching that interview oh. and he said, I could tell she did her homework and I liked the, the way she did that interview. Uh, I want to bring her down for that and pretty much the rest is history. Yep, so that's how we got together and uh, we're still here, but uh, Harry Pappas was a good man. He worked hard, uh, he raised a good family and uh, he was dedicated, mm. dedicated to his craft. And from one station, he built, I don't know, 20, 20 other stations. Well, at one country. point, even live on Great Day, yeah. he uh, was speaking before a Senate committee because sure. he was, he, he how, do, how do I grammatically say this? He owned the most uh, TV stations in the country at the time yeah. by a private owner, not by a, uh, a big corporation. Yeah. And uh, so that was pretty darn impressive. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously, like you said, very hands-on in the TV station, but also, you know, uh, community. I mean, that sense of community is exceptionally important to him. Absolutely, because the community is, is your audience. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you have to appreciate them and be thankful. And he always made sure that he did whatever he could to uh, give back the, the appreciation for the community watching. Well, we have memories for sure. Anybody who's ever worked at KMPH for all of these years has memories. I remember one of the first uh, ones I had heard even about this TV station yeah. where I came, before I came here. He wanted to make sure that uh, all of the women wore nylons when they were out reporting and out in the public. All of the men, including photographers, including in August in Fresno, <laughs> wore ties. Yeah. Ties were a mandate, so were nylons for some time. Yeah. Things have, had clearly changed through the years, but uh, you know he had a very high I bar yeah. that that stood. Uh, the green room that we have down the hall, Stella, his yeah. wife, created. It's still green, and it it still is pretty much the original look from it when is. she created it, and still being used. Uh, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah, still being used. Yeah, his son is now married. No. Is that right? Um, his son is not married. He's a pilot. Oh, okay. His daughter is going to... About to be married? About to be married in about I think, two to three weeks. Yeah. Unfortunately... Um, he will be with her on her wedding day in a different way. That's right. You're yeah. absolutely right. And uh, so uh, uh, Elaine and I will be going to the wedding, and but we're going to miss Harry. Good man. Yeah, Good but man. we thank him for all he started. And, and I thank him for hiring me uh, because I wouldn't have had to be as lucky as I am today, if it hadn't been for Harry. No, I feel the same way. Thanks. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Monty Torres with Fox 26 News on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel, where we have loads of great content for you to choose from. And while you're here, why not click on the subscribe button right here? That way you can stay in touch with all the latest breaking news, everything news related within the Central Valley. And thank you for watching.